Hi all, it's Karen for Karen and Bluto's, not another review channel. Uh, if you watched our Friday the 13th discussion, we're doing another one. I have my man behind the scenes, Bob. Hi, I'm he's, back. He's waving. Hope you didn't miss me. <laughs> so we decided we're going to go ahead and do another one of these uh, discussion type things. I guess that's what we're calling it now. So this one, we're hopefully not going to make it as long as the Friday the 13th. Keep for the glitchies. Yeah. And hopefully it's not going to be as long, because I'll tell you what, that one was a pain in the ass to well, edit and upload. Well, if it is, we'll just have to upload and, it when a day when we're not going to be doing it. Yeah, so this discussion is, we're still getting still with the horror movies, and it's um, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre series. I guess, not all, but mm -hmm. well, we can talk, whatever, we're going to talk about the we'll remake, talk about we'll do it. the best we can. Yeah. This is so, casual. Yeah, we're just Unscripted. here. Unscripted. We're just here. So, we're going to obviously start with the, the original best one. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The best one. What year? Came out in 74. 74? I think it was filmed in 73. 73. 73. And as you can tell, Bob's uh, drinking already yep. and putting his two cents in. I'm drinking in. whatever, whoever wants to, you know, give me money to advertise. So, um, we actually rewatched the 40th anniversary the other night. Yeah, just, um, we need to refresh her. Yeah, I... It's like I've watched these, but I don't remember all of them. I don't remember all of them, but I know the first one. Too. So, um, the first one, did that kind of start the slasher genre? I don't know. Well, let's consider Psycho. I don't know. Yeah, Is this, Psycho a slasher? I don't know. There's really not that much killing in it's there. It's just a horror movie. I don't yeah. know. I don't know. Slasher's so, kind of did start um, killing. Bob Halloween. obviously saw this way back when he was younger. Yep, probably saw when I was like 9 or 10, actually. And I wouldn't have seen it till after he and I met, so probably... 35. 35 years ago. No, you were like 35. You, no. didn't, you didn't watch this whenever I met you, so... Oh. It took you a while to get to watch any of this yeah, stuff. Yeah, so I, I can't remember. It's been... He and I have been together almost to 20 years, so it's been some time. Probably within the past 15, I'll say. All right, I don't know. But, um... This was kind of supposed to be based a little bit around with Ed Gein and everything as Very well. Very mildly. It's just... Yeah, I mean, it's not... Um, not even worth mentioning after this point. It's just a very loose thing. It's it's all fiction. This sort of... This, this the mask, mm -hmm. the leather face. And that's that's the only thing. Um, I'm trying to think what else to say about this. Um, what do you mean what else? Jeez, there's all kinds of stuff to say about it. Well, go. It's all you. All right. Oh, do you have the movie? It is an awesome slasher movie. I'll show you this. This is a special treat. I'll show everybody out there. I want this right back. And if she drops drop this, it. the video is going to be cut short because there's going to be another massacre going on. If this gets dropped, then you'll see why. Be careful with it and give it back to me when you're done. Make sure you hold on to it very tightly. Mm -hmm. I don't want my hand in the shot. You got it. I have it. Do not fuck it up. And you'll see why it's so important to me. Down here at the very bottom. I met him. Got my picture taken with him. So Gunner, I picture this was taken signed by him. Gunnar Hansen. He had met him at a horror thing in uh, Pittsburgh. Yeah. So Back in 94, um, there was something uh, people, I don't know, people probably don't know, wherever that um, yeah. I see light amphitheater used to be. If you're around Pittsburgh, I know that area. So, and Bob said this is the first videotape he ever bought. Yep. Because he liked this movie so much. Yep, and it never was on, like, Cinemax or anything for me. So, today. I'm handing it back to him. That's right. I'm so, he this. actually has a, a Polaroid of his picture with Gunner, but he's not showing that because he's the man behind the scenes and he's well, a mystery. I, well, I have it taped up in my room. Here, you can show this if you want to. It's fine. What is it's, it? It's the, uh, I brought, just to have a reference. You can you can keep that if you want to. But I you're, I don't want it. to. Oh, this was the... Uh, just to show the 30th anniversary one. one, but I don't feel like it. I figured out that one's more interesting. Yeah, so it was, I have another version of it with the other cover on it. The cover that used to be on the other video. Yeah, too, so this was enough. a 30th anniversary one, which was actually ordered by accident. We were, I don't remember what we were ordering up at. I don't remember. This was years ago at Sun Coast, well, obviously. Sun Coast. Sun Coast. Um, oh, you're not going to keep it for reference. Right. No, it's okay. Um, he was ordering a certain oh, one, and somehow this one got ordered instead. And it I was ended, cool, and I'm like, all right. I'll so he it. actually ended up keeping it. Um, 
like I said, we just watched this the other night because we got a new TV, so we were checking out some things on it. And yep. um, I don't know, memorable characters out of this. Memorable? Because they're all memorable. Everybody's memorable. <laughs> Who isn't memorable? You got <laughs> Sally, Franklin. Who are the other two? Uh, Pam. <laughs> and, um, See, they're memorable, but he doesn't yeah. remember the well, names. Well, they're just like, you know. So you it's. Know, Jerry, what? There's Pam. Right? Is that the one that gets the, uh, Pam, is that you? Yeah. And then, so uh, he's trying to remember. It. Yeah, names kind of go over my head. And sometimes. the big thing is with this movie, there's no CGI, because that didn't exist back then. And they were using a real chainsaw. Because you were saying something when we were watching it the other night about, um, Gunner having a plate on his leg to protect him yeah. for that one at the end where his leg's getting cut. Yeah, that was real. But didn't you say he still got burnt or hurt from doing that? He got that? burnt because of the metal. The metal know. and everything. So, um, and then that part whenever uh, Kirk, yeah, Kirk's the other one, Kirk and Pam, you know, that was really him laying there that part whenever she's on the hook. Whenever she's on the hook screaming mm -hmm. and he's using a chainsaw like it's on him. Yeah. He was really doing that. And With a real inches, chainsaw. Yes, and he was inches away from him. Gunner said, lay there and don't move. Good advice, huh? So what else do you have to say about this one? Uh, it's special to me because I watched this a lot with my grandma. Yeah, he always goes <laughs> on about him and his grandmother will watch horror movies. Yeah, back when I was like 10, 12 years old, I mean, we would sit and watch this and like Friday the 13th and stuff like that. that yeah. Was cool. So Bob's grandma was cool. Still is cool. So it'll be funny. We'll be at get-togethers, and he'll be like, remember when yeah, we sure. used to sit and watch this one? And she's like, oh, yeah. Didn't you watch? No, you didn't watch Porky's with her. That was a little too much of that. Animal Hoss. But, I mean, you know, you know, I mean, come on. You really want to watch a movie like Porky's with your grandma? That's, but it, we watched Animal Hoss. That was about the, 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 the closest to those kind of comedy. But we watched the horror. We, I mostly just watch horror movies like this and Nightmare on Elm Street and Friday and whatever I would rent the video store that day. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I like the beginning of it. You know, they show the rotting corpse, like uh, you're, you're, you know, my who, friend yeah. back there. Yeah, I remember him. I, I was Ted. You picked him up from the bar one time. You want to have your way with him, so you brought him over here and had your way with him, and then you butchered him down in the basement. Yeah, and you kept this rotting corpse because you kind of like the smell of rotting man flesh. It kind of that's kind of your thing. So you kept him around, and you know, you like to do other stuff with him back sometimes. <laughs> you're such an ass. Sorry, I just said roll with it. <laughs> you know, that's kind of one of your things that you don't want people to know about. Oh, yeah. That's how weird you are. And then we got Franklin. He's, Franklin's kind of, he's kind of annoying, but not yeah. to the point where. Yeah, he, I don't know if he made uh, the annoying character list we did back yeah, in the day. Did. I don't, I can't remember. I don't know. Come on, Franklin, it'll be fun. <laughs> okay, I think you, you, you'll be a good annoying character. But yeah, I like that. We pick up the hitchhiker. I mean, that's cool. You know, you never they you never pick up a hitchhiker. Mm -hmm. Yep, that was uh, Nubber. That was his name. That's I think that's technically his name because he he sort of in the second one. We we can talk about that when we get to that. Yeah, Nubbins, and then you have of course the old guy. And I never figured it out too. Maybe if somebody knows, and I just can't find the information on it while we're getting there. The guy at the gas station was that the hitchhiker Nubbins and Leatherface's father. Or was he just like an older brother? Because you had Grandma and Grandpa, and then you had the old guy at the gas station, and then you had Nubbins, the Hitchhiker, and Letterface. So I never knew if the old guy was their older brother or if it was his father. If anybody knows that or whatever. I always thought it was like an uncle. Um, okay. Is it his uncle? Is it his cousin? I don't know. That's one thing. I never figured out who. After all these years, I can never figure out who it was. Because it could have been an older. It could have been his uncle. Uncle Uncle Drayton. Drayton Sawyer was his name. but. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, he was cool. I like him. He's funny. The gas station got yeah. real cool. And then, oh, uh, and then never, he cuts Franklin in the, in the, in the van after he takes picture. He should have paid him for the picture, man. Yeah. Maybe they all would have lived if he had just paid him for that picture. Yeah, because then he dropped them the off van. at his house, went and had some head cheese, and then they could have went on their merry way. But they were too good. They didn't want to go to his house and make head cheese because he said his brother makes it real good. You don't remember that, do you? Yeah, I know. We cheese. just watched you it. You take the head and you boil it except for the tongue and scrape all the flesh away from the bone. 
They don't throw it Yeah, we get a nice description on how head cheese is made in case well, you're ever said. wondering. Yeah, I'm like, oh, we got to push on. We can't do that. And then, no, we're not, we're not going to eat your wonderful meal that your brother w would graciously prepare for you. You know, so, and then you don't pay for that awesome picture that he took with that whatever the hell camera did. No, not Polaroid. What the hell camera? I don't know. That's a weird old camera. Mm, yeah. But, uh, yeah, he took his picture there, and then he blew it up, and he put a curse on him, and then he smears yep. his little symbol on the van. I don't know if that means anything. That's just weird. They just smears. Well, I think he just smears, smears his, his hand. Yeah, and, but and it's not like. Remember they're fucking with him, like, it's the Marcus Orr. He's going to get you. He's yeah. He's messing with Franklin, because. Franklin's, you know, Franklin's freaked out. Yeah, the other ones are like, ah, just forget it. Or at the part at the beginning where they stop and get Franklin out of the van because he has to take a leak, and then the truck goes by and his wheelchair funny. goes down the hill. That part's funny. He rolls down the hill and, and all that. And then they show that no, you can't forget about the dead armadillos. Is that those are? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's like a classic thing from those. And then uh, I like when Kirk gets killed. That's cool. That's, that kind of starts in here. <laughs> Smash with the hammer. Hammer smash face. There you go. I knew that I was guess, coming. Uh, I guess it's a, I don't know, a hammer or whatever. And then, yeah, that's Kirk. And then Pam is the one that gets lifted up on the on the meat hook here. And she's in the freezer later. Yeah, and I guess she... Would that really happen? Would that be like... Is that a muscle spasm? I guess. I don't think she was still alive. So. I, I don't know. Been, I always thought that part was weird. And then Letterface comes out and goes... And then he conks him on head. That part was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. He's running around like, where are all these stupid kids coming from? And he's like, pushing. And Sally's the only one that survives and ends up in a mental institution. Yeah, at the end there. Yeah. You, you don't forget about how Franklin gets one of the best kills, man. How does he get killed? Chainsaw. You sure? Yeah. Wow, you're good. I thought you were going to forget. Yeah, because it's when him and Sally are going through the woods trying to look for the others and... Um, Leatherface shows up, they both freak out, and he just takes the chase off of Franklin, and Franklin's like, Ugh! His back in movies are so awesome. I mean, come on. I mean, this is probably, like, the top five best, in my opinion, maybe more like the best 70s movies that I like. Four, maybe? I don't know, four or five, like, one of my favorite 70s. You know, I like a lot of stuff there, but the ones that stick out for me from the 70s. You know, there's a few. But uh, am I boring you already? Oh, it's been a long week. Yeah. We've you're been just, busy you're today. You're like, oh, I, wanna, I can't wait to get back there with that corpse over there. You, 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 should, you should pat him on the head and say, it's okay, Teddy. But we'll be done here, and then I'll take you back and, you know, get you all hard again with, with your stiffness because he's a stiff, rotting corpse. <laughs> you're so weird. Sorry, hey, I'm just rolling you away are while we're so going. That, 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 weird. That's why you have him there. He's your that's your other man right there that you like. Oh yeah. Yeah, you like the smell of rotting man meat. <laughs> no. Yeah, what else can we say about the movie? Uh but yeah, back in the seventies the thing was everything was awesome back in the seventies. Stuff is horrible now. <laughs> yeah, back to toys were awesome back. Everything was cool back in the seventies and eighties. You make it sound like you were grew up in the seventies. No, well, not really, sort of, but not really. But, uh, yeah, this movie is pretty killer. Man. Or we, what time are we at? 13. All right, we'll, we'll do this to about 20. Uh, what else can we say about this? Um, yeah, let's talk about, like, uh, the ones that... Uh, okay. You might have to cut this part out since you didn't do it on the Friday the 13th. No, so. I did put the text in, <laughs> but for some reason, this goofy program or this goofy computer... It didn't do it. Okay. Gunnar Hansen, unfortunately, he ain't going to be, he's not here anymore. I was so bummed out whenever he, he when I heard about that, I was like, no, oh, man. Because, you know, he was cool. He was cool in person. I'm glad I got to meet him and get my picture taken with him and sign my stuff. I have an 8x10 autograph from him. It had, he wrote Bob and he put your next Gunnar Hansen on it and he signed it. That was pretty awesome. But, yeah, he was cool. Well, didn't you have to act like you were 18 to get into that or something? No. I thought you said because you were young at that point. I just said I was, I don't know, however old I was in 94. I don't know. But yeah, it was back. No, I didn't have to be 18 to get in there. Well, just I thought you said get... something about that. No. 18 to get. What the hell? What did I say about that? There was that one know. thing I went to where there was. Yeah, like a um, Gunner Hansen died November 7th, 2015, at the age of 68. Yeah, that sucks. And then. uh... He was born in Iceland. Yeah, I heard that. But. 
Well, you, and moved to Maine when he was 11. Well, you mentioned me up all the time. Oh, about awesome. how awesome it was to meet him. And I said I thought you were had to be. No, no, no that was that, my, that other thing I, where I actually, well, going off topic since you brought it up, I didn't like get, I, I wish I would have, but I didn't. But I saw the guy who played Mr. Cooper, his wife, and the daughter from Night of the Living Dead. I should have got some, but, but I didn't. And they also there was also like a couple porn stars there signing autographs. And I, you know, I mean, I wasn't eighteen, but I because you know my dad went with me, and he said it was cool or whatever. So I, it might have been that you were thinking of, but he didn't care. So yeah, and then uh, Jim C. Dow, the guy who played the gas station guy, he's dead. And I think the guy that played the window washer, the guy with the big head who washes the window, that, that doesn't really the, say much. Well, yeah, he. I think he's he's dead. Toby Hooper, you can't forget about mm -hmm. him. He passed. And then uh, Marilyn Burns, who well, played Sally, she died. And so did Franklin. So you got a lot of people. That, those are the ones I can think of offhand that are no longer. There may be more now. I don't know. Yeah, the one, Marilyn, the one that played uh, Salad, Sally, Salad, Salad, August 5th, 2014, she passed. And Franklin, Paul A. Partain or Partain, I yeah. can't remember. Partain. Yeah, him, he, he's... Uh, I'm on IMDb. January 28th, 2005. He was only 58. Wow. And then, um... And then, I don't know who the guy played. I think his name was Window Washer. In, in the credits, I think they called him Window Washer or something. I think him. And then, of course, Toby Hooper. And I, that's all I can remember offhand with that one. But yeah, while you're looking at a great movie, check it out. Old uh, man, is that who you're No, saying? that's Jim Seedow. Yeah, he's yeah. one of them. Jim Seedow, Seedow, Seedow. He's, he's the guy who played the gas station guy. He passed in 2003. He was 83. Yeah. Wow. And then window washer guy, and then Toby Hooper. Oh, so, man. What? Nothing, I'm hitting the wrong well, whatever. thing. whatever. What else can I talk about while you're doing that? So this movie, oh, I, like, I bought my VHS tape that you showed you. I bought that one. After, I bought that, remember, I bought that one that came out. Because I remember I went to get it, and they said they had just got it in, and it was like 1989. So I got that like 31 years ago when I got that. Oh, the window washer guy died in 1985. He was 36. Oh, jeez. Robert Corton. I don't know. That's Yeah, I didn't remember one. And then, of course. Um, well, the only Hooper. thing he was in was Texas Chainsaw Massacre, yeah. it looks like. And then Toby Cooper. But yeah, I, I got that, bought that when it first came out. I watched that. I watched the crap out of that. I watched, sometimes I watched that two times a day. I'll get up, watch it if it was like raining or crappy, and then I watched it in the evening. I watched that movie so many times. That's probably the movie I watched the most of. I would probably close to say that. I'm laughing at this because it has a runtime on here. It has 83 minutes and then 75 minutes, new, longer version, and then has 88 minutes, unrated edition. <sighs> Maybe they're foreign versions? I don't know. I never saw. I only saw the one that's, I don't know how long it is. Whatever. Whatever the, I don't know. This doesn't say. I don't care. But whatever it is. It's like an Iron 25, the one I saw, or Goop, give or take. But yeah. And um, and then the part when uh, Nubbins gets killed. That's pretty funny whenever he gets run over by the truck. I thought that was so funny. I think I was laughing so hard whenever I first saw that. that I actually had to rewind it to watch what happened after because I thought that was so funny. <laughs> Yeah, it so said the budget was 300000 estimated. It grossed in the U.S. Um, 30859000 Now, see, you don't hear anything like that now. Mm. Movies cost $50 billion to make now, and then they're lucky if they get anything back. Good. Yeah. And the movies are horrible now. They suck. <laughs> Stick to the 70s and 80s. Tell us how you really feel. Stick to the 70s and 80s. All right, where are we at? We'll wrap this up. Oh, 18, almost 19. All right, uh, what else can we say? Maybe I'll grab my tape here. Yippers. Yeah. Leave a, leave a comment if you miss videotapes. Because I miss having videotape. You pop the tape in, like with the chainsaw mask, you pop this in, in like five seconds, ten seconds of the black thing, it goes into the Video Treasures logo, and it goes right into the, to the beginning of the the uh, narration. Oh, yeah, John Larroquette does the... Um, What's it, the narration at the beginning before his uh, fame whenever he was on Night Court or whatever? You know, John Larroquette. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he actually he does the narration that says, The film which you're about to see, The Cult of the Tragedy. But yeah, since. There's a little tidbit for you. Yeah, I'm sure everybody probably knows that. But I, I miss videotapes. I mean, I don't know. See, a movie like this, 
I mean, watching the 40th thing is cool. Watching it, I guess, cleaned up. And, 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 you know, it's nice to see things like that. But I like watching. This is, you know, a cool movie that's like almost like the grindhouse exploitation days back in the 70s. And, you know, those kind of movies like this and Pieces and Last House on the Left, even though Pieces was in the 80s. What? What? 20 minutes. Okay, well, chill out, man. I'm just trying oh, to talk okay. about this. Yeah, we'll we'll, well, you we'll said cut you the other one shorter because they suck later on. Well, I see, maybe there's see. Not waste some more time because you maybe lose track of what I was talking about. What was I talking about? You were talking about, you talking about the Grindhouse movie. Yeah, back when the that's what I was saying. I think the picture quality should be kind of green. Like whenever they made those new ones, like Machete and all them, where they add the grainy and the old effect to it. I like that, and I like the legit uh, wear and tear of the film and all that stuff. I see. I prefer, you know, in a way, I prefer crappy video tape stuff rather than polished up stuff. So. Fine, we'll move on to talk about the shitty ones. <laughs> Do you have anything else to say? No, you haven't said nothing on it. Well, What's your opinion on it? Oh, it's fine. I watch it. I mean, it's, it's not one I've seen wine is a fine. whole lot. Yep. If wine is fine, then this is awesome, like Jack Daniels. Just, so, all right, I don't know. It's a great movie. Watch it. It's the best one out of all of them. Um, it has a lot of memories for me. Love the movie. Uh, my version says color, 84 minutes, so however the hell long that yeah, is. Yeah, like I said, I'm looking up on IMDb. That's what my so. version is. It's rated R, and it's pretty sure I can see through here. I think it, I think I got this like in 1989, 1990, so I, it means a lot to me. I like having it in my collection because it's autographed, and okay, if you want to wrap it up. Uh, we already got your opinion on it. It's fine. Yeah. So, okay, <laughs> we'll move on to the second one that I like that other people don't. The second one is just called... Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. <laughs> yeah, we don't even know stuff. That doesn't have to be anything. I'm not, and there, that's the other thing that I like. I like movie. Okay, what is it? Part 2. Part 3. We don't need to call it, like, things that, like, you know, like, the, the not to get off topic, but it's on top. Like, those stupid-ass Transformer movies. How do you know which one's which? Aren't they called, like, All the rest Transformer? of the evil movies are the same way. Yeah, yeah, the final chapter, which... I keep thinking the final chapter is part four, because that's Friday the 13th, the final chapter. Yeah, I hate that. That's stupid. Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. That's all you need. Two. It doesn't have to be, like, oh, the psychos are back, the, the cannibals are back, or something like that. They don't... They cut to the chase. And, uh... This is my version. I used I had this on videotape, but I don't know what happened to it. It didn't mean much to me that much because I didn't have it signed or you know whatever. But this cover is kind of crappy. I'm sure everybody know. I'll send it to you. In a if, I don't know if you can find it on your phone while I'm talking or whatever. Yeah, find it on your phone while I talk about this. You'll see what I mean. It's the parody. It's I love it because it's the Breakfast Club parody. So when you see that cover and you know what it's parodying. You kind of know that's it, what you're well, getting Well, that's the one originally with the DVD. It was? I thought it was on the DVD. No, when I, I had the DVD and I got rid of it. It was this picture oh. of Dennis Hopper on it, which is fine, but that was the that's the classic. I like that. See, it's this, you know, if you want to show the Breakfast Club cover while I talk about this here. Okay, Texas Chainsaw Master 2, Toby Hooper. No, it's, yeah, Toby Hooper and Dennis. I was looking at Dennis, Dennis Hopper and Hooper. You got Hopper and Hooper. Yeah, Hopper and Hooper. Dennis Hopper, he's awesome anyhow. And then, um, who else is in here? Oh, this is the, the awesome Bill Mosley's in it. There it is. See what I mean? That's so funny. Too bad I can't get two side by side. But you get it. Yeah. That is awesome. That's When I saw that there, I'm like, that looks so familiar. And then I saw the, I saw like, ah! And then once you see that, you know where they're going for it. It's, it see, I like this one. It's comical. It's funny. I get well, the Well, this joke. movie is one of the movies we bought when we first got a DVD player. Many know. moons ago. No, because remember, we got it for Christmas, and I was out the day after picking up some movies, and you're like, you have to find Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. Yeah. So, I was... I like this one. I saw it. I saw the first one, and then I thought the first one was so awesome, like the next week or whatever, whenever I could rent like two for one or whatever, I got the second one. I was like, okay, it's, it's different, but I, I liked it. Um, yeah, uh, this one here says it's not rated. <clears throat> But it says, like, I think in Canada it's rated R, but it says 16 plus or something. Whatever the hell these stupid ratings be, I don't know, and I don't care. <laughs> Movie's awesome. I saw it. I like it. It's I mean, more of a, it's a little bit more comedy it's with still, it. It's comical, but, but see, I know I said before about the comedy stuff. This is fine. I get this. You know, it's, it goes good. It's over the top. I mean, they say, like, they couldn't top the first one. 
And Toby Hooper, I think, said he wasn't even going to try, so he went full on comedy with it to go the complete opposite of the first one. Because the first one had that grungy, grindhouse, like, visceral, pukey, nausea hitting kind of thing to it the, with all that stuff. And then, oh, the other thing I wanted to do in the first one, all the skulls and the props were real. Kind of like, uh, you know, kind of like uh, some of her other friends she has here. Yeah. Yeah. You trust me with this? Be careful with it, please. Ooh. Look at that. There's our bucket of corpse stuff that we collect there. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry, it just better be That's easier to guess. shift it over here. And then, uh, yeah, they use a lot of real corpse stuff. Well, did they do in a lot of movies back then? No, because it was probably cheaper. It was, yeah, it was. It was awesome to do that here. I'll show you that. Now. Okay. I, I just got. So I wanted the Blu-ray. Are... I didn't care what was on the cover. I just wanted it on Blu-ray because. With this one, it's, it doesn't have that grindhouse feel, so I kind of wanted a better picture quality of it. So, um, yeah, this was back when we were kind of buying the movies and replacing them, our DVDs on the And I don't do that anymore. I hate which, double, triple dipping it because they have what, probably 50 versions of these now. And I'm like, no. Well, plus me. there's the 4K stuff now, too, which I'm sure you could probably get that on it. And but... I just watched it on Amazon. So I watched the, the first one on that, that high def thing. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, you got good. You got chopped up. Who's awesome? Lick my plate, you dog, Nick. He's funny. I like him. Yeah, because I always say that line long, wrong. Why do you say it? Lick my plate, you bitch. That's not what he goes. <laughs> Look what you did to my plate, you bitch. He says that the letter face. Mm -hmm. That's Bill Mosley. Did, did you get it good? She was my fave, but she knew. Now nobody knows. Yeah, he's funny. He's cool. Mm -hmm. Leatherface has a crush on the chick and tries to. Dump her with the chainsaw. Yeah, it's been a while since I've seen this one, so I don't even. The radio station thing. Yeah, I know. You can't I know forget about you're... Oh, Nubbins, the beginning. Remember, do you remember the beginning? Whenever the dude, the dude gets his head sawed off in yeah. the car. Remember, Letterface pops up with that dummy. That's the hitchhiker guy that got killed. In oh, the first is that? One. Because that's him. If you look at it, he kind of has the same clothes on. And remember how the hitchhiker had that uh, pots around his neck that he mm -hmm. cooked that stuff on? The dummy on the, the thing there has that on there. He has the. I don't know if you can find a picture of that or not. But he. That's that's not uh, the picture's not real good on here. He's on the cover. Yeah, I know. Yeah. He's down here. That's him. Look, see, and he has a thing on it. That's the hitchhiker. For if you didn't know that, that's the hitchhiker that got killed. And then Chop Top was the older brother. And I think they don't specifically say it, but I think he was supposed to be like in Vietnam or something during that time because he. I think he said, you know, he said I got back to VA hospital, didn't my plate. So I think he meant that. Is that what that is? Uh, which VA hospital? Is mm -hmm. that, yeah. It's veterans. Yeah. yeah so I, I want. Yeah. Sorry. So he says that in there. So I assume that he got that plate and, and he was in down. That's why he wasn't that one. So I guess he's like an older relative. I guess it's his brother. Well, I think, I think he is his brother because I remember the gas station guy yeah, me, coming me, home. Me and, Bubba, me and Bubba, my little brother, we listen to you every night on the radio. But no, I just remember the part later in the movie when the gas station guy comes up because look what your brother did to my door. Yeah, I don't know why I remember that part. Look what you but well, it's funny. But um cuz uh Leatherface was chasing I can't remember who Sally. and Sa Was that in the first one or the second? I thought it was in the second one he says about the door. Look what your brother did to the door. Oh. He says that in the first one. Is, the first Is that what one? you're talking about? Yeah. I thought it was in this Look one. Look what your brother did to the door. He got no pride in his home. Get her in there. That's the ending of the first one. Oh, Whenever see. he's chasing Sally. See? See, I must have been only half paying attention when we rewatched the stuff the other oh, night. Whatever. All right. Uh, but I like Dennis uh, Hooper's character. Hopper or whatever his character. Dennis Hopper. You know, like, like yeah. what a rabbit does. Yeah. But I, was, I liked him in this because he's kind of trying to seek vengeance. Yeah, it's his brother's kids. Kids were Franklin, yeah. Franklin and Sally. And Sally was his brother's kids, I think. Yeah, yeah, so he's trying, and he kind of uses the um, kids, chick yeah. on the radio as bait. Hey, that works, and it, it worked. I mean, he, it worked. He found out where. And Gunnar Hansen is not back as Leatherface in this one. No, they they wanted him to come back, but they kind of they snowballed him or something. They like they didn't want to pay him to do it, to be in to do that again. They just kind of wanted him for name factor, and he's like, you know, screw off, I'm not mm -hmm. doing it. But, um, yeah, the guy who played Bill Johnson, I think, plays There's a couple other, I yeah. think a stuntman actually plays him in the part with the, where he chases with a chainsaw. I think a couple people played him. I'm not exactly sure, 100%. But, uh. Yeah, Bill Johnson's leather face. And then Grandpa's really old in this. Yeah, well, he's really old in the first one. It's not the same person. Yeah. Him, but it's, it's Grandpa. 
hundred some years old or what, a hundred ten years old. Yeah, I, I can't, can't remember. remember. They say, but um, yeah, it's kind of cool. And then they, uh, whenever after the um, uh, the radio station thing, remember uh, Dennis Hopper chases them to that uh, cool uh, amusement park thing underground mm -hmm. or whatever that was. There's all those corpses bought underground where they have this funhouse looking thing and it's all those bodies and rotting corpses and. And that's where she finds LG or whatever. I forget. I think that's his LG. I think his name was. And then like, because he's not quite dead, he comes back after Letterface cuts his skin off his face. And he goes, like, "It's a fall apart, all you honey." But yeah, yeah, I do remember there. that. Even though, yeah, this came out in August of 1986, so it was 12 years after the yeah. first one. And when I saw these, when I saw, whenever I first saw Chainsaw, there was only two of them. I saw whenever I first started watching this stuff, there was there was only the two. Just in case anybody's wondering, in my lifetime when I started watching this, there was two. In your lifetime, you make it sound like you're so old. Well, I saw these probably back then, around 86, 87, and this was the newest one. So whenever I started, whenever I watched them, there was only two. This might have actually just came out on video or something when I first saw the first one. Maybe. Bob talks about when he was younger, there was this video store up near where his grandmother lived. And he was talking um, to the girl that would work there, and she would recommend horror movies. <laughs> For him to watch. Yeah, see, oh, we just got this in. Oh, we have this. Check this out. Or, oh, you might like this or that or whatever. Or whatever she would be working at. Yep. I go Tuesdays and Thursdays because it was rent one, get one free. It was like $2 plus tax or whatever to rent two movies. Or it's usually $2 any other day or whatever. But it was always Tuesdays and Thursdays I rent movies because it was rent one, get one free. And those were my every, every Tuesday and Thursday for the whole summer I'd go up there and you know, we had a place up in Lincoln or two. We lived up there for a while. And I'd rent movies. And I, I just where I saw a lot of my stuff back in the day. So, uh, are you going to talk about this shit or not? I, mean, I, I am talking. I'm letting you talk. I mean, right. you know these a little bit more than I do. I, I'm going to get a drink. You carry on the conversation about part two. Okay. I I just kind of remember at the beginning when um, there's two those two assholes in the car. And they're, they're calling, the, talking to the rate. Right, they're the DJ at the radio station. Ugh, What's wrong? I smell something nasty. Oh, she's moving. <laughs> All right. Well, just, yeah, she moves and it stinks. And, All right, um, sorry, moving on. And Leatherface and Chop Top running him off the road and, like, cutting the one guy's top of his head off. And, it, like, I remember that. And, like, oh, the girl awesome. got it recorded and she's, like, trying to... Re I just she remember... it over the radio all the time. <laughs> she's like, you and call her. Your ass going to be a big trouble over that dick girl. Because <laughs> he gets mad. Something like that. He gets mad. Because she's playing that, and she doesn't want to do it because of that FCC thing. But mm -hmm. but that's smart. He, but, I mean, Dennis Hopper keeps asking her to play it. Because she, he, he wanted was, them. He so did, that's he why he said about it. him using her for They're going to get pissed off and maybe show up. And he was right. It, whatever happened, he, he was smart. He did that good yep. job of that. They showed up at the radio station, and then. He, he, and he followed mm -hmm. them, waiting to see what happened. and Because. Mm -hmm. He, he was smart. He, he's like, I don't care about it. And then I remember him, too, bitch. finding um, Franklin's skeleton in his wheelchair. and Yeah, and Franklin looks, looks pretty good after uh, 12, 12 years. years. Yeah, I mean, he's totally a skeleton and everything. I always remember that. And he's like, he's talking, like, apologizing to him. He's like, and I'm going to seek revenge. Yeah, skeleton kind of looks like this. It's not working. Here, grab this one. I'm sorry. It's kind of heavy. Just grab it. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, look, look that. That's cool. Huh? You could have given it back to me the other way. Well, I, I had it at a weird <laughs> angle. <laughs> Sorry, I want to get that stuff out of the way. We'll yeah, Bob that. and his props. Uh, and before you ask, no, we don't have a life size leather face anywhere. We did have one, but I just, it was. You didn't like It didn't move. Remember? No. It didn't do anything, <laughs> it just made the chainsaw noises. Oh, I don't. Know. I remember they had one, but I just that was a while back. But I don't. No, yeah. this was when like we first saw the spirits Halloween stores, and yeah. they had it. But all it did was you press the yeah. button, and it just made the chainsaw oh, noises. I don't, I don't remember. And yeah, it, was like, the, it was like it was like three or four hundred dollars. Maybe that's why I got the Jason. Um, so I think the Myers. Jason came out the following year. <sighs> I got the Michael Myers one, not the Rob Zombie Michael Myers one, but like the one with the white mask on or that there life size. And then I have um, Pinhead. We have a zombie. It's just a zombie. It's not from any particular movie. Yeah. It's just a zombie. It's just a zombie. So, uh, how long was this? Almost we 15. At? What? Almost 15. All right, we'll go, we'll, we'll go 20, because um, uh, what else can we say about this part? Or about this movie? Or... 
Uh, oh, come on. You can talk about this. You do. I don't remember a lot of this one. Yeah. Well, Bubba Cuter wants a radio tonight. Yeah, I like his name. His name's Bubba. I think, you know, I don't know if they say they it. Don't, do they ever refer to him actually as Leatherface in either the first one or the second one? Yeah, the first one is called Letterface. Did they? Me, yeah. Uh, I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure. If we were watching that, I'm you call him that. And I think they call him um, um, uh, Bubba. He's his Bubba Sawyer. Yeah, I don't remember him ever being referred to as Leatherface in the second one. Yeah, Bubba killed her once already tonight. Bubba's got a girlfriend. Bubba's got a girlfriend. Bubba's got a girlfriend. Remember, because he's picking on him, because he's like, yeah, he, he killed her once already tonight. Do you remember that part when Bill Moses character? I vaguely saying, remember he's it. Like, Look, he's he's my fave. Like the, they recognize her from the radio station. Mm -hmm. He's like they're getting mad because he should have killed her. But, you know, he has has a thing for he like, you know. I don't know. I, I think he should have like better taste than women. But she's all right enough. It's, she just doesn't seem like it'd be that'd be letter face. And then I kind of remember at the end where she's standing on top of that mountain or whatever with the chainsaw. Well, that's part end. of the uh, the. Scene from that because it's a car. I don't know. It's a what the hell are they at? It's like a funhouse thing, or a, a I don't know. Because I just remember the beginning. Uh, the cook is entering a chili contest that he always wins, she, and the person don't talking on the meat. Yeah, he, she's like, "What's your secret recipe?" Prime meat. Yeah, because he's she's like, "What's your secret ingredient or something?" And then isn't there like a bone or something in yeah, it? Or shell peppercorn? And it, uh, yeah, it's like a bone. Yeah, or I just remember that part too. Because yeah, it's the just, chili cook off, Great and Sawyer. Great, and did it again. And that's, don't they talk about how they went into hiding all this time after the first one or something? Yeah, like, well, they just said that they, I guess, kind of lay low. They, they talk about that in the, the beginning of this one. There's another prologue thing at the beginning of this one. You know, where they talk about that there. And then, yeah, the ending's cool. I guess everybody gets blown up or something. Cause, yeah, that's what I was trying to remember. Uh, there's a, uh, the nubbins that, you know, had, the, had a fire uh, grenade in this thing, and the old guy goes, Kaplooey! He pulls the, the thing up, and then Dennis Hopper. and Let The ending chainsaw battle was pretty cool. You know, like, they're, they're fighting, and Letterface gets the chainsaw through his gut, and his guts are spilling out of him. And, yes, does everybody die in this one, basically? Uh, I suppose everybody dies except the girl, because she's, like, flipping out the chainsaw. Yeah, because I couldn't remember if Dennis Hopper's character died. I assume everybody blows up. You don't see nothing, but you just see him standing there, and then you kind of see the, the smoke coming out, mm -hmm. like, like, the hand grenade blew up and killed everybody. Grandpa, the old guy, I guess, the straight Sawyer. Uh, and then Chop Top chases her up there, and then she kind of, you know, gets him with the chainsaw. He rolls off, and she goes, ah! She flips out like chain, like Letterface did at the mm -hmm. end of the first one. And then it kind of ends from there. But, yeah, I like it. It's good. I mean, people don't like it because they think it's too silly. I liked it when I saw it. I still like it. Uh, hundred and yeah, hundred one minutes is this one. A little longer for a horror movie, but yeah, I like it again. You know, directed by Toby Hooper again. He kind of went. I'm glad he didn't do the exact same thing again. He kind of made the complete opposite and made it. It worked to me. It worked. I, I don't care. Well, was this supposed to be the last um, movie? Well, it was the last one for a while. It was the last one kind of with this family because I think they're supposed to be the same family. Leatherface played by somebody different, but I think it's supposed to be the same character. And of course, you had Drake Sawyer, the old guy. But then you sort of have Nubbins there, but his, you know, but chopped off. His older brother wasn't there. Mm -hmm. Grandpa was there. So it, I, to me, it, it is the same family as the first one to me. So I mean, if you want to look at it that way, to me, it's the same family. Just like, like I said, the chopped off character. He was um, what I, um. You know, the, I think he's the damn thing to play. And I think that's where he was supposed to be when the first one happens, how they did that. So. All right. Yeah, I like it. Some people don't like it. I mean, yeah, I understand why people won't like it. It totally went the opposite direction. But it's, I like it. It's not the same. It's not exactly the first one over again. Mm -hmm. they, they did something different. They didn't try to update it or, or whatever. Um, and then the next one we'll get into here now, if you want to wrap up part two, that this uh, next one people say is kind of a, a reboot. But we'll get into that. We'll talk about that there. Everything cool? No, no, glitchy, goopy, stupid? Nope, we're doing good so far. Okay, hopefully it's will work and you'll <laughs> find it. All right. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to not Well, like I said, <laughs> I haven't watched this one in a while, so I don't I know. That's why remember a lot of it. Yeah, that's why I need it. 
Like these, like when we did the Friday and 13th, I had seen those a lot, most of them several times. These I have not watched as much. Okay. But I'm sure I missed out a hell of a lot on here, but you know, we're just going over. Like, well, we'll have scenes. to do a review about them. Yeah. I ain't doing that. You do that with your fuzzy little friend and Pluto. <laughs> All right. I guess we'll move on to part, part three here. And then this, this is the last of the ones that I actually have because this is the last one that I really like. Yeah, so I'm going to have to pull them up. I like, like this them. one. People don't like this one. I don't care. I mean, I've never, I don't know anybody who really gives us any, any kind of praise, but I don't care. They're, they're stupid. I'm sorry. It's fine. I mean, if you look at this one and look at the ones after it, you can't honestly say that th this is crap when you look at the ones after it. Yeah, Leatherface. I remember when this came out. I wanted to go to the theater and see this, but of course, you know. You couldn't go. Nobody would go with me, but that's fine. Uh, like I said, another one. I remember I rented this at the video store when it first came out. Uh, rented it. I like it. It's cool. Yeah, I'll show you here, and I'll show you something else going on later. I'll we'll get to that. Uh, yeah. Right. You on. don't have this on Blu-ray. No. So this the is the rated, rated R, R rated and unrated. I think I only watched the unrated version. I don't think I've ever watched the R rated yeah. version. So I on, saw it on videotape back when it came on. And there, see, that's the thing our people say. Oh, there's not much stuff in that that's from the unrated. Yes, there is. There's not a whole lot, mm -hmm. but they make it sound like there's only like three seconds of stuff in it. There's a bunch of stuff in there, like some extra chainsaws, yeah. the, the chick getting killed, the chainsaw is more of that. There's more of the gas station guy, and he's probably like my favorite. The Alfredo, bring back the gas station with gas givers. He's kind of pictures of the ladies in the magazine. Yeah. You know, like, this yeah, is another one little... I haven't watched oh, for... a lot. Hold, hold, just hold it up and talk about it while I get a drink. Ooh. Say something about it. Talk about the cover. You like that cover? I like, I like the Saw's family. The Saw is family on the I chainsaw. I always wanted the chainsaw that had that engraved in it. Because cool isn't this that. his uh, present or something he gets in yeah, the movie? Well, I do remember that, yeah. I do remember that. And, uh, well, Ken um, Forsey is in it. Is that how you Ken say it? Ken Forey. Forey. Um, from, Texas, um, from Texas Chainsaw. Not Dawn. No shit. From Dawn of the Dead. Yeah. So. I mean, okay, there's the other thing. Ken Forey is in it. You know, you can't go wrong with yeah. Ken Forey in it. Um, he's awesome, man. He's like a weekend warrior. So I guess this is supposed to be like a totally, it's a, a totally different family now, or? Yeah, you could almost call that a reboot, but that was back before they called reboots. Reboot, reboot. Reboots. So, I, I mean. I think, came up. Um, I had it pulled up on my phone, but my phone. It's fine. Just look up the back. You don't have to rely on your phone for everything. It's yes, I do. Probably find it. I closed it out. Exactly. Uh, See, with the two. I don't know. It's weird. It's always Roman numeral shit, but who cares? Eight ninety. All right, close enough. Eight ninety. And it's an minutes. hour and twenty five minutes. Right here it says, yeah. Right here, then here it tells you the time again. The running time is eighty one. The unrated is eighty six. So you got like five minutes of stuff. That, when you think about it, that's a lot of stuff mm -hmm. to take out of it. If you get, and there is stuff in it that they they um they cut out of it. I like it. I mean, it's not the greatest. It's funny. I like the girl. She's cool. I think I'm supposed to face his daughter, the, the little young girl. The oh, the young girl, girl, the blonde hair yeah, girl. The one that that was, also yeah. played the little girl in the Friday the 13th, um, part seven. Are you sure? Part eight. No. Oh, you're right. For, I was like, you're going to get part this seven. right, but you, you doubted yourself. Yeah. Part seven. She played young Tina. Mm hmm. In the Jennifer, beginning. Jennifer Banco, I think. Yeah, that that's her name. Let's see what we got here. Titles. So it's like you kind of have a different. It's a different family. family. But I like, yeah, it's a different family. I like I said, I like it. There really, you got Vigo Mortensen in it. Yeah, playing Tex. Yeah, he's in like other stuff. Isn't he in like War of the Rings now or something? Yeah, he's done a lot of other that, things. I don't watch yeah. that crap. But that, yeah, he's fine. Because we're know. hungry. That's the yeah. one thing I always the remember. The gas station guy, he's my favorite. I like the part where he's like disposing the bodies in the water. He goes, feed that trap, my friend, oh, you motherfucker, don't tell me what I should do. <laughs> Take your motherfucking face text and ram it up your butt is what I'm going to do. And he starts throwing up the head and the arm. Yeah, the parts I can't use. What? The parts I can't use. Yeah, he's, uh, he, he takes out that one chick and says, I like you a long time ago. I don't like you anymore. And he goes, eat garbage. And he throws her head. That's, I thought that was so funny. See, that's the thing. I think things are funny. People watch this and be appalled by it. I laugh. It's like the ending of 
the first one when the hitchhiker guy gets run over. I thought that's I mean, that's funny. Run over by the tractor trailer. That's funny. And then uh, what else we got? The letter face is cool. Yeah, uh, there's a couple of scenes that I don't know where they are, but um, I'm pretty sure that there's a couple of scenes where he was played by Kane Hodder as going to stop working. Oh, really? So, yeah. So, technically, if that's true, Kane Hodder played Jason, Leatherface, and Freddy. He played Freddy, too? He played his glove in uh, oh. Jason Goes to Hell. That To that's me, that right. counts. So, he, he said he did that. He's the one who did the glove at the end of that one. Let me so see. So you got Kane Hodder. Makeup, production. No, all you got to do is have, he's probably not on there. Stunts. Kane Hodder. Kane Hodder is listed as stunt coordinator. Yeah, but he, I think he also, too, played Leatherface in a couple of scenes. So there you go. Kane can do anything. Kane should play Michael Myers. That's what I want to see. But, uh, what else is there? And the one chick's kind of cool, though. I kind of like her. Kate Hodge. Mm -hmm. She's kind of like relatable, night. You know, she's not like too over, like. Hot, and this one sexy. was directed by Jeff Burr. Yeah, I don't. He, I forget what else he did. Toby Hooper just got credit for the characters. Well, that's the, who the characters are based on. Yeah, yeah, he had nothing to do with it, uh, Toby Hooper. But uh, I'm itch, guys. Ken Forey, we want Joe Hunter, Ari Mahalov, yeah, Kate Hodge. Oh, William Butler is in this too. Like I said, he was in um, Night of the Living Dead. Remake, and he was also in uh, Friday the Thirteenth Part Seven. So you got a lot of people come back. Mm -hmm. Or you can't go wrong with Ken Forey; he's awesome. Like I said, I like her. The one who plays um, Kate Hodge, Michelle. Mm -hmm. like I, said, I thought, did you like her? She's cool. Mm -hmm. She was a badass. Am I boring you? Or? No, I'm just looking at okay. on my phone with this information because okay. you're asking me stuff. And you know, I like Kate Hodge. She was like, I don't know. She wasn't like overly. You know, I like the chicks and all of them. I mean, the radio chick was fine. In the second one and all that, they were fine. Uh, what else we got? January 12th, 1990. So it came out over 20, 30 years, 30 years ago. Yeah. But, uh, is it soup yet? <laughs> yeah, that's what's it on here. Surprise for Junior. That's he gets a saw. One down. Yeah, and then uh, Ken Forey knocks the gas station guy in the water. And, of course, you know he's not dead. I like all the booby traps that are set up and throw through. Remember? There's all those traps set up in the woods and stuff like that. That'd be cool to set up that, something like there that. There you go. You're going to do that around our place? Should, yeah. And he goes around and doing that. And then, uh, you and me now, uh, you sick fucker. Like when Kate Hodge, she flips out at the end finally. Like whenever the, he nails, she gets actually instead of tying her to the chair, they nail her. They, they oh, yeah, I the forgot nail. about that. that. Part, like, can you imagine that? Like, that part's pretty crazy. All right, guys. Sorry about that. We're back. Um, I don't even remember where we left off talking. <laughs> I don't know. We'll go from, I like the part, yeah. Uh, I look back here. You, we know what to do with those parts. That's whenever they're, whenever, like we talk about whenever she gets the, I will start when we got, she got nailed. <laughs> that part. And then mm -hmm. he puts the lipstick on her. That's in the, the edit, uh, the added scenes. Oh. And then, uh, yeah, I do remember and that. And she breaks free. Remember, she rips her. Yeah, because uh, I, I cringe watching. I'm like, oh. Uh, good old Ken Forey shows up with his gun shooting through the window and, and all that kind of stuff. And then, well, plus it's interesting the way they kill her. Is he her boyfriend or? Yeah, sort of. Yeah, he, yeah. He, that's um, not the William Butler. Yeah. Or, uh, Ryan, I think his name, character. Name. Yeah, that's the sledge. The girl kills him. And the. Uh, oh, yeah, the little girl. And the, um, if you watch the, uh, another thing in the unrated version, she uh, pulls the um, labor or something that, Sledgehammer goes down and breaks his neck or whatever. Mm -hmm. I thought Smash was dead. <clears throat> well, they don't show that either, but they still should show that. But yeah, he looks pretty good for, I don't know what Letterface did to him originally, but he looks pretty good for taking the chainsaw to wherever he got the chainsaw thing. In but yeah, anyhow, like, she's cool. The little, I like how they threw the little girl in there. Then we get to the escaping point there. And, uh, they get dragged through kind of that watery body pit type thing, and, uh, let her face fights Ken Forey, Ben. Ben is his, his character. Mm -hmm. And a chainsaw shooting the water out of thing. I like how the chainsaw still runs after it gets the, tossed in a water puddle pit thing. And then they're in there fighting. And then remember, uh, let her face pops out of the water after you think uh, Benny and Ken Forey's character dies. And she grabs that rock and goes, Sorry, little guy. 
Because remember the beginning, she was, she didn't want to. Kill yeah, because they they ran over the armadillo and she's a wuss and didn't want to put it out of its misery. And no, she was up. trying to get her Brian to do yeah, it. Yeah, because I was. said she won't put it out of its misery because she's a wuss. She won't oh. do it. But then she grabs a rock and smashes. Sorry, little guy. And she's smashing him in the head with it. That part's pretty cute. Pretty and then, cute. And then we got the uh, there was a couple different endings to this, but I like it with Ken Forey surviving because I like him. Then you have the gas station guys show up at the end and he hits him with a sledgehammer and goes, It's not that I'm back. Steal Danny's car. Did you steal my car? Remember? Cause it's oh, yeah. Thing, you know, remember the end. Gas station guy. And he, he, he she goes shoot him. He's like, What a chance to break this bitch like you even how to use a thing. Hmm? He's like, Pretty goddamn good, you backwoods motherfucker. And then she shoots him and drags us out of there. And then her and Ken Ford get in the truck and she said, It's roadkill all over Texas. Oh, I do remember that, but I don't remember her shooting uh, the guy what, at the what, end. What, 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 what do you want to say about some of this? And then we'll, we'll get into this. I part. pretty much we'll said. We're about time right now. We're on, we're, we'll wind up, and we're, we're kind of screwed up the time because of the, the break. We had to take a we had to take a break. You know. Some scratch in my eye. I mean, like I said, the, le, these ones are ones I haven't seen as much. These I mean, are the I, ones I saw the most. These are the ones I like. So you don't know I have nothing to add anything. Six. No, I think I added like the but, few things and no text things. like. When they're like, why are you talking to people? Because we're hungry. Like, I remember yeah. that. And remember I remember, <laughs> and I remember the part where Mama tells Leatherface to go do his studies. And he's... The food thing with a clown. And they, he's on this, like, speak and spell thing. And it's showing a clown. And it's like, spell this. And he kept putting F-O-O-D. And it's, like, wrong. And he gets mad and he throws it. And What kind of sick shit is this? Because, you know, you got Benny Ken Forey's character. He's looking in on him going in. Yeah. Another thing I'll say about this one, because I had to bring this out here. Another thing I liked about the movie, awesome soundtrack. So good. I'll show you the name of it. Uh, it's original soundtrack. I mean, I mean original soundtrack, but it says original soundtrack. But I got this one. It came out because I saw it there because I really like a lot of the songs on here. And some of the songs that are on here aren't actually in, in the movie. Some of them are. The theme song is just awesome. So, we'll hand it. I mean, I really like the soundtrack. That's the other thing, too, I like about this. Your letterface is a metalhead. He listens to some kick-ass stuff, and I figured I like the soundtrack, so I had to get it. And here's the here's my young song. Bob self. Yeah. So it's basically the cover. It's the same as the video. And yeah. Then, yeah. Read read off the things there. Tell everybody who's on it why they have to get it. Right. It's not a print, probably, but if you can. You got it. Lost Rocket, Death Angel, Wrath, Hurricane, SGM, Sacred Reich. Utter Lunacy, Wasted Youth, Obsession, and MX Machine. Yep. Awesome soundtrack. Got to check it out. It's really cool. Probably have to look for it on eBay. It opens up, too. Like, you can open Just please be careful with it. It's not a print. It's old. But, uh... You can show that. Here, give me it. Just give me this. What? You can take that out. There's some cool pictures in it. Okay. Um, we're, we're being informed. Give me it before you. Yeah, I'll rip it. Before so. you rip it with your Freddy Krueger claws. For They're not that long. I'll be getting them redone this week. Yeah, it's. A, I just it just says this one thing. I like the pictures up here because they're like actually they're not from they're they're not they're from the movie, but they're not from the movie. They're kind of like promotional stills. My fi okay, I'm not going to say which one it is, but out of the ones on there, which one do you would you kind of think will be my favorite picture out of all? I like all of them, but what, come on, it's kind of all. Which one do you think is the most badass one? This one right here. No. No? It's cool, but come on, you don't know what, what my favorite one would be. This one down at the bottom. Which one? Yeah, the one with Ken Ford letter face like that. That's awesome. Probably can't see it real good. Okay, that's his favorite right down here by my finger. I mean, come on, that's cool. That's a cool publicity still. Yeah, none of those shots are in the movie. Like, they're not still from the movie. Mm -hmm. So I thought that was kind of cool. Soundtrack's cool. You can probably listen to it on uh, YouTube. YouTube. There actually there's a video for um, the Leatherface, which is kind of cool. And then there's one from uh, Death Angel Board. That's a good one. I don't remember if any of the other ones had like official video. I'm pretty sure there's one from Board, but I don't, I don't know. But I know there's one for Leatherface. Right when Worlds Collide, they cool. They play. Oh. Fuck what they'll do. What they, they play they play Letterface, they played at the end. They play board and when worlds collide whenever Letterface is in the truck at the end. They play Spark in My Heart, Hurricane, that's like a glam band. They play that in the beginning. Ryan is listening to them on his headphones. But I'm pretty sure power 
I think the other ones aren't actually in the movie. I've seen this movie a lot, but I think the only ones you hear are the first four, if I'm not mistaken. Because I watch this a lot. I only remember hearing the first four tracks. I don't ever remember hearing any of the other tracks in the movie. But yeah, again, I like I like this one. This is cool. People don't like it. I don't care. I like it. It's awesome. The music's cool. You know, it has its cheesy moments, but it's fine. It's like, you know, an hour and a half or whatever with the edited thing. And then, oh, then that, that art chick, or what was her name? Sarah, the one that's at the beginning, the one she's flipping out talking to Ben. Remember? Mm -hmm. or, yeah, remember? And then she gets killed. To see her hear her and her sister, her sister, remember? I thought she was kind of cool. She was at the beginning where she's watching Letterface construct his, construct his mask. Remember, she's standing there watching him and stuff like that. You don't remember what I'm talking about. Well, don't, does everybody die in this one, too? Because I don't think it's at the house on fire, or? The house, I don't know. I don't think. I don't know. I don't know. No, well, no, the girl. No, everybody, Letterface doesn't get killed. He shows up at the end. I don't know who, well, technically, I don't know. I think the, the woman gets killed, the one in the wheelchair, she gets shot. I assume the guy gets his ears and his fingers. I don't know, he might have. Vigo, him, Tex, he gets blown up. Maybe that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, he gets Tex. He gets blown up. He gets the gas on him, and, and, and he likes the lighter that the chick gave him, remember? Mm -hmm. That one named Sarah, she gives him that lighter. She, she throws it to him and says, keep it. Remember, you don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Do you? I don't remember. Whatever. All right. I guess we're done with this one, Eric, since we lost track of that. What? It's cool. I like it. Listen to the soundtrack. Check out some of the songs that are on here. I'm sure you, I think all these tracks are available. They're on YouTube. Just go on and listen to I think. You're probably going to have a hell of a time trying to find this. This has probably been out of print like months after it came out. The soundtrack probably came on less than a year later. You probably couldn't get it, so. It's probably been out of print for 30 years or whatever. Maybe but it was reissued. Yeah, right. I doubt it. I don't know. Maybe it was. Who knows? But soundtrack's good. Characters are good. Even though it could be called a reboot, I like it. I, you know, I could care less what other people's opinions are. I care, but it's like, I'm not going to let that influence me. I liked it. First time I saw it, I liked it. I thought it was cool. I liked the characters. I thought Letterface was kind of cool. Like I said, I like all the characters. There isn't a character I don't like. You know, I mean, there, all, there isn't one... I thought you got annoyed with Ryan. No, he's kind of the whiny, nerdy character, but he's okay. He's like borderline. He's fine, but he's, he gets, you know, he gets, he's that annoying character, but not to the insufferable point. Probably if I would have to pick one person, I would pick him. But th that's just, he just kind of gets a little, eh. He kind of gets all defensive whenever Tech starts hitting on his woman or something. Remember, mm -hmm. he gets all like, we do talking to her. I'm trying to get with that. You're trying to ruin that for me. Well, kid. that's why I couldn't remember if he was, they were a couple or. I think they were kind of, sort of, not really. I don't know. They, I thought they were. He, you know, he probably liked her. I mean, come on. But, but anyhow, yeah, everybody's cool. And if, even him, he's fine. I like the main chick. I like all the villains. I like Letterface. I like the music they play. Ken Forey, you can't go wrong with him. I like it. It's good. If you don't like it, hey, that's cool too. I don't care. Whatever. <laughs> but yeah, then this is. This is, to me, officially the last of uh, the good ones. Now we're going to get on to the ones that you like. No, I don't like You it. like the fourth one. No, I don't. You don't like Renee Zellweger? Yeah, so I, I have, have to pull it. these up. Which Whoops. cover are you th showing? There's a bunch of different covers. That's one yeah, that's the one I Yeah, that's the one I saw whenever I, I rented that on videotape when it came out. I never heard yeah, of it. Yeah, so. That was the cover. It didn't have that other cover with those, with McConaughey's. You can get other versions of that right. where those two are on the cover. Now, so, um, Texas Chainsaw, The Next Generation, this is the fourth one. Renee's and what, would it, what, what else was it called? I don't the know. The Return of the Texas Chainsaw. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, Renee's Elwager and you Matthew McConaughey. Made, no. made in 94, right? I don't know. I, I thought it was, I think it was made in 94. It was had a limited release for a little bit. Then it was re-edited. Re October 21st, 1995. Five, I was close. And then, but I didn't see it until like ninety seven or ninety nine. Well, or what weren't they trying to like block it from coming out because that's no, when... they um they they delayed the thing for some reason, and then whenever um she was in something and he was in something and they tried to cash in on it because that's when they became stars, right? And I think some of like Matthew McConaughey's agent tried to prevent it from releasing it or something. I think so. They tried to cash in on the fact that those two were in it, so it's called. 
the next generation return of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, or that Chainsaw Massacre with Renee Zellweger and Matthew McConaughey in it. That's kind of like the unofficial title, too, that it's also going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's the only reason why I got you to watch this. I told you it was horrible, but that's the only way I got you. Matthew McConaughey is in it. Like, oh, oh, he's so hot. I want to watch it. So, right, and we were able to rent that. Yeah, remember, you, yeah, 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 yeah. What are you doing? No, I'm just looking. All right, you, you start this one off. I talked about the first three. You, well, you no, I mean, I just remember, you know, us watching this one. Um, I don't know if we if I watched these in order or not. I can't remember. Uh, no, you never watch any order. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, I just remember this uh, watching and be thinking, "Oh my god, this this." I was like, "This movie is so weird." Yeah, you have to. I start you out at the time that was the, the newest one, and I start you out with the absolute worst one. Yeah, I mean, I remember I was watching it, and I'm just kind of sitting there like because you don't want to watch the other ones. You're afraid or something. I think that's the only reason why I got you to watch that because those two are in it. Oh. And you like, don't you like, you like them, don't you? I don't. Fine. I don't, I don't, I don't, watch I don't care. Like I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I never watched, I never watched it. I don't know. I know they are. I never watched any of their other movies, honestly. I never watched any other Matthew McConaughey or Renee Zellweger. All right, movie. all I right, all right. Their, I never watched any of their stuff. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I just remember like hearing He's the history, though, the that. background with it and like how they were just trying to end up. That's his name, I think. Yeah. Over. Oh, he goes, wee, wee, and he smacks himself, and he goes, Aah. Yeah, he was, like, totally He's the one that makes nuts the movie. in this movie. Leatherface sucks, even though, I mean, the Leatherface is a flipping cross-dresser in this yeah, movie. Yeah, the guy who played him died, too, recently. I mean, no, you know, like I said, the character, Robert Jackson, um, I don't know, like, the guy, he's probably was pretty cool, though, but, I mean, the character of Leatherface. 2001. Yeah, the, the character of Leatherface is awful. Robert Jackson? Mm-hmm. He was forty one when he died. The Leatherface character is horrible, you know. But I mean, that too bad. That just sucks about that and all. But, but um, yeah, he's horrible. And that one that the woman she was annoying, that blonde bitch, whatever her name. Her was. friend. No, the the killer, the one the killer, bitch, the blonde bitch, the one is the one who's part of the family. Oh, okay, they're all annoying, but um, who is it annoying? Even Velmer is annoying, but he's like the one that kind of makes the movie worth watching, the McConaughey character. This one character is titled, I'm Not Hurt. Oh, I'm Not Hurt. That, that, the dude? It's a dude. I... Oh, that's the dude who gets his neck broken, remember? He goes, I'm not hurt, and then Velmer shows up and oh, he breaks his okay. neck. Oh, okay. He goes, I was just he's like... dead now! <laughs> Ain't no fucking biggie. First, I'm going to kill you. You know, yeah, that's part of that. Remember that part whenever they wreck the car, and the guy mm -hmm. gets out of the car, and then they go look for help? Yeah. I think that's who it is, but yeah. That's one person how they're credited as. That's what I'm looking like. Yeah, Heather is that one. She's annoying. She's like, eh. And then that one dude, I hate him too at the beginning too. That one, Barry, I think is it. I don't like him. You don't like anybody in No, this. I don't, except Velmer, but he's the least, you know, annoying. Ugh. <laughs> <sighs> There's some Phyllis yeah. for you. And then, like, the chick that's with Vel Velmer, Velmer, whatever the piss the is The blonde bitch. Is. Yeah. Yeah, she's annoying, too. But one goes through the drive through to get yeah. pizza. Yeah, goes through the drive through with Renee Zellweger in the yeah, truck. Says, I can't breathe. Can you just get a hold here for me? Okay, like, who the hell would naturally react to something like yeah. that? Yeah, or when she's, she's the part where she's trying to injure her, and she's taking the stick and kind of, like, just poking no, her with stop it. stop it. No, but that part when there was Zellweger is in the trunk of the car. And she's yeah. like, wouldn't, wouldn't you be screaming like, like hell? I'd be screaming my head off. And then, right, she'd go up there and drive through. There's people walking around. There's a cop behind her. Right. And she doesn't do a damn thing. So that character is stupid. She's stupid. Yeah, I mean, this movie is yeah, just so it's weird. Yeah, it's remember? Yeah. I know we'd get off topic. Yeah, whenever I think of Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I think of it as being prom. Yeah, and then Zellweger and her date are in the back of her boyfriend's her friend's boyfriend's car getting high. I thought it was high. in the back of uh, Barry's car or something. I don't remember. They're in the back of a car doing that, and they that one bitch gets pissed off, and then that's kind of how the movie starts. The four of them drive off, and then they run into another car at first, and then they drive away, and then you have the and then they talk about annoying, stupid shit. Yeah, and then I they mean, drive down a road trying to turn around, and then they're going up. like the the and one chick is going on about how they're involved with the government and like. Yeah, that's the and one then, killer. Yeah, and then, like, at the whatever. end, where the one dude shows up and... Yeah. 
I, it's just, it's so... That like, person should have been played by Judd Nelson, I think. I well, know. I'm just sitting there, because it's like, dude randomly shows up, and he's like, you need to f show him what pain or fear or something is, and well, I'm like... That Illuminati thing. Yeah, and I'm like, who the hell is this guy? He works for the Illuminati, and he wants Yeah, to it was just pain. like, it was just... Not one chainsaw death. To, and that pissed me off. Oh. I never really no, thought. No, one person is killed with the chainsaw. I just remember Not Matthew one. McConaughey getting taken out with the plane wheel. Yeah, who the hell was flying that plane? I didn't even the know The Illuminati were... guy had somebody doing it. And then Maybe. they're like showing him and he has like these periods. Like it made. It's stupid. I'm like sitting here after. I remember watching it the first time and he's like, what you think? And I'm like, I don't even know what happened. Sucks. I told you. It's I was just like, I like, okay, it would have made sense. If, if it's it so bad, it's good. No, I so mean... Far, what's it from McConaughey? He, he overacts the crap out of it. Well, I think funny. that's about the only thing that makes this movie. But he's I the mean, only entertaining one in there. Like, he's the only one that... He's the only memorable yeah. character. Well, I just remember when <clears throat> at the end when Renee Zellweger loses her shit and then Leatherface is saying something and she's like, You shut up! Yeah, and he's like, No, she goes, You sit the fuck down. Down or something, yeah. And he does it. And she's like, I'm gonna <laughs> leave and nobody's gonna stop me. Yeah, it's that. just... Okay, compare that ending to the ending of the first one. Which one's more creepier or disturbing, you know? Well, that one, I mean, the first one, it's kind of... It's not even scary. It, it, it's not even funny either. Like, Well, no, it's like that sucks. whole... Like, it was... like it was. I don't know if you want to say kind of making sense until making this... Making what? Making yeah. sense until uh, this d random Illuminati dude or whatever showed up. And then it's like... What does this? I mean, this isn't just the family of cannibals out killing people. They're being dictated they're by some. They're trying to give it a backstory. Yeah, like, it's like they're Michael trying Myers. to give them like a. It's just like just some secret secret society they are all part they're of, and they've to all give been a part. There's a story like it did Michael Myers. He needs a story. Yeah, like, yeah it was just. It's just making there's a bunch of psychos and they kill people with him because that's what they do. Yeah, I mean that's basically what the other three movies did. You oh, know, they yeah. were just killing people, and that was it. This one, it's like they're just trying to throw in this twist, and you're just sitting there like, and this has to do what with it? You like know, because the part whenever like he runs over the dude, that's funny. He, he keeps running over, and that was kind of funny. Oh, after he broke his neck, or no, the one dude he's chasing. Oh, he goes, okay, yeah, that's he goes, right. You're scaring me, Mister. And then he's running down the road. He keeps he runs him over a couple times. Yeah, that's, I forgot about that. Happening? Yeah, I forgot. And about then the part where he has um, him and the other dude strung up off the back of his pickup truck when Renee Zellweger's in there, and he's like, "Oh, here they are." He goes, "I think I want you to stop. You're scaring me. Like, can you put any less effort into like? <laughs> I think you're scaring me. Oh no, I want you to stop." <laughs> I mean, like I said, this I'm movie. Scared. It's the, like the, she. I don't know if she was supposed to act like that, but the way she acted in that was like horrible. Do you think? Like, I mean, what do you think that was? I mean, she like almost didn't care. Like, oh no, there's somebody dead. I want you to stop. I'm scared. You're mm -hmm. scaring me. I'm trying to get this to flip up. What are you doing now? I'm trying to get something to flip over, and it's not working. Well, stop pissing around your phone and talk about the movie. What else do you want to say? About um, I don't know. it was awful. <laughs> Awfully bad, huh? I don't or know. Awfully good. I mean, we've sat and watched it a couple times when it's come up on. Because it's it has a sort of a, bad, a horrible like you watch it because it's. So well, I horrible. think it's just you watch it again because it's like a train wreck. You can't look away. It's, it's the, the more you watch it, the stupider it is, and you just kind of. What I mean, if, okay, if I'm bored out of my mind and there's nothing else to do, and it happens to be coming on, and it's not on like TV where it's edited, and if I'm in the mood, maybe I'll watch it. You know, for the hell of it. But it just kind of. I don't know. It's just, I don't know. Anything else more you want to add about the fourth one here? Uh, like I said, it just, I mean, if they would have, maybe if they would have left out like this part with this secret society, it would have sucked. sucked, but it wouldn't have maybe sucked as bad. No, so, I mean, I it's kind Letter of. Letter face doesn't do nothing. Nobody gets, you need, we didn't change, at least one chainsaw kill. You only get one. Well, it's Not like uh, Velmer's the one that's doing all the killings, pretty much. I mean, Leatherface, does he... He's even... just a back character. He's not even a... Right, I don't even not... think he's a, a supporting character. I think it's mostly him. Even the, the woman does more than Leatherface does. Yeah. The psycho woman. Remember the, the mm -hmm. one that's the, the one that's with them, the blonde chick, whatever her name is? She does more. Even a Velmer guy who... Not Velmer. Who the fuck is that other guy? The one that quotes things. He goes, I stand here and fight it out. Look what your brother did to this door. They say that in that one too. The guy who mm -hmm. says that, 
He does more than Leatherface. I don't Leatherface remember. doesn't. Oh, I know. Leatherface is just kind of. He's almost like a fourth supporting character. He's just there because it's Texas Chainsaw. Yeah, he wouldn't even be there if this was like not even that. If this would have been just called the next generation of killers. Yeah. Uh, I don't. Like so, I mean, it's. That's I, why this one was a short one to review. Yeah, uh, it's. I'm not saying that. All right, so I'm going to move on to know, what's the, next one? the remake, Texas Chainsaw uh, Massacre. I don't remember that. And sorry, Joe Biden is projected to win in South Carolina, just so you know. So um, this one, on well, it's just a notification that popped up on my phone. This one uh, came out in 2003. I, 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 I was, whoops, why did it? I like um, Arlie Hermes in it. I'll give it that. That's, that's who? A, dude, there was a full metal jacket. Oh, I don't remember. Really? I don't remember. What are you doing playing your phone now? No, my phone. Up? All right, fine. I'll lead you through this one. Arlie Ermey's in it. I think that's like Arlie Ermey. I always pronounce his name wrong, you know, but he's awesome. Dude for Full Metal Jacket. He's the best one in it. Oh, oh, okay. okay. I know who you're talking about now. Um, I don't know. It got kind of, It's just the whole remake thing just really got out of control. Well, this was the time when they were, well, they're still doing remakes now, but I think that's I mean, when it's it... it's not the worst one that they came out with. I don't really care that much for it. It's not one that I like. I try to remember, but that one, the, the one chick, she's all right, but she's Jessica kind of, Beale. Yeah, she's kind of annoying. Though, but Aaron. Yeah, that character. I don't know. That character. I mean, good. I don't think, it didn't really follow, this came out October 17th, 2003. Probably haven't seen it. Years Probably. Something. I mean, I remember us watching I it. It's just, I don't know. I don't care for it too much. Um, they gave him a name in this one, too. I forget what it was, though. And the other face actually had a name. They actually, they Thomas the Hewitt? Hewitt, yeah, the Hewitt family. It's not the Sawyer family. Yeah, I family. see. I didn't even remember that being changed up. And I mean, they do the whole van thing. Uh, I mean, it's still, it's like, I think it's supposed to be kind of like taking place back then. I don't, or, it does I don't a lot know. Of, I mean, I, I mean, they try, but it, you, they definitely, they cannot make movies take place in different times. It's really difficult to do that, I think. You can't make something now and have it look like this in the 70s because of the, just the way they film it. Maybe if they would go back and use film that they used mm -hmm. back in the 70s, maybe that would have made this work better for me. Film it the way they did back in 1973. Are you all right? Yeah, my eyes are just itchy. You know, film it on the old crappy film that they used to, to make it look that way. Then right. Maybe it would have been better. Well, like I said, Sorry, I, I don't know how much they add to this. Yeah, I don't remember a whole lot of this. The thing that I liked. Uh, yeah, well, that's because I, I didn't really care for it. Well, did they have, like, a Franklin character in this one? The real, in no, they had an annoying kid, but not in the wheelchair. I think he had, like, glasses, and I forget what his name was. Yeah, it's like I said, I don't really remember this. And I thought I remember one part of the movie when Jessica Beale's trying to hide, and she finds all these other cars, apparently, of I don't Other know the people. Where she's in the slaughterhouse or something like that. Is that what happened to me in that one? I think she's running around a slaughterhouse and like she hides in a locker and let her face find her. I don't know. Yeah, I. Sorry, like, we can't have much. I think this does, does she survive? I don't even remember. Uh, shit, I don't know. I like the one chicken blows. Yeah, I do remember the one chicken blows her brains out in the truck. In the oh, isn't that and the, somebody they rescue and yeah, then she the hitchhiker? But it was yeah. And she ended up killing herself in her van. That's kind of because she was one of their cool. victims that escape, and they end up running back into them or something. Yeah, that part was kind of cool. Though. I forgot about that. See, I sure just remember the other part too, when Jessica Beale's boyfriend they're um, hanging him up to drain him of his blood, and the engagement ring falls out. Like I just remember that part because you remember you going, "Oh, that's so sweet." He was going to propose. Well, that's because that was fun. It's like really, they needed to, they need to do that. Really, that's stupid. Yeah. They didn't do that in the first. I don't know what the point of that was. It was I said that probably being the smart ass because I thought. It was good. Yeah, well, that's what you were, and I mean, it's just had, it had the five youth again with everything. But yeah, like yeah. I said, I don't really remember a whole lot of this because I, like you said, it's probably about I mean, about 10, 10 or so years since we watched the prequel. That the beginning. I don't know. I never. Was. There was a prequel to this one. Yeah. I never saw it. I saw it once or twice. I don't really remember it. Don't care. It was so what? Te Texas one. Chainsaw the beginning or something? Yeah, we're, we're going to pass on that one. Yeah, but like I said, because I... Said, I, I well, I thought you watched it. I did, you, but Because you watched it because What's-His-Face was in it. Yeah, he's so. in it too, I think, still. But, um... Uh, yeah, let me see. I like him. The two for Full Metal. That's another mm -hmm. one we should do. Full Metal Jacket. I'm not trying to go off topic, but I'm trying to think of something while you piss around with your phone. This is my rifle. This is my gun. This is for fun. And this is for fun. 
he was a sw slime, slimy little piece of shit, cocksucker, twinkle toes, who just signed his own death warrant. Private Snowball, Private Joker. Now he's going to start doing his. Uh... Cause you are a fat, disgusting. What did you say? Uh, disgusting fat body, Private Pile. Yeah. So um, I'll just show you the picture from the the beginning. Because you were hungry. So now on, whenever so, Private Pile fucks up, I will not punish him. I will punish all of you. You owe me for one jelly donut. They're paying for it. You eat it. <laughs> all one, right, two, on that three, note. Four, I love Marine Corps. Yeah, so like this I said, Texas changed all the beginning. Or, uh, yeah, I never saw it. I think, like I said, you rent it. We rented it. But like I said, I don't have much to say about that one. I don't think I had any desire to even watch it. Uh, I'm trying to get to the next one we're going to talk about. How about you, the kind of person with a fucking guy in the ass and not even have the common courtesy to give him a reach around? <laughs> Something like that. Sorry, you got me talking about Full Metal Jacket now. No, you just started talking. Well, that's because you were pissing around your phone. I had thought about something. Oh, there's a remake of Candyman coming out. Come on, will you just... Yeah, I saw that. Unless Tony Todd's going to be in it, then forget it. So, Here I what, go. What, what's the next one? The one we just watched the other night. Oh, that, that shitty one with all... The hot-looking 40-year-old chick. Yeah, Texas Chainsaw 3D. Oh, she is your fingerprints. Right yeah, I know. <laughs> my, my screen needs clean. Um, we actually watched this the other She's night. She's hot 40-year-old. But this story... the It sucks. It doesn't line up when you watch it, because... You know what I think of that? <laughs> That's why. Because this one, Texas Chainsaw 3D basically is supposed to be happening right after the first one. Bullshit. With everything. And hey, she got Gunnar Hansen and Bill Mosley in it. Yeah, like briefly at the beginning. Because um, Bob couldn't remember if I saw it or not, and he I pulled it up on it. Amazon Prime, and I was like reading it. And I'm like, no, I'm pretty sure I did see this. And yeah. so, um, so we ended it up again. watching it the other night just because there was nothing else to do. And we were going to be doing this, so might as well Yeah, we just something. figured, well, let's refresh our memory here a little bit, but I mean... You remember it great. This movie, it... it you sucked. liked it. You no. It. it sucked. It sucked. I mean, because the timeline doesn't add up, because it's supposed to happen right after the first one, at the end of the first one, like literally the next day, which would have been So that makes it the second one doesn't 1974. Happen. 73. 73. August 18th, 1973. And meanwhile, we go, we fast forward to 2012. At least, because I think that's what it said on a tombstone. You said, yeah. See, I think I saw a tombstone. I may be wrong, but I'm pretty sure because it was kind of hard to see. I think I saw a tombstone with a death date of 2012. So to be generous, maybe make the movie 2013. That will be 40 years from 73 to then, right? Mm hmm and, as, and then, like I said, damn, she looks good for 40 years. Old. Yeah, so basically, it's like the main character, like, inherits this house mansion. house and everything. Whatever. And it's like the actress is probably in her mid-20s. They do never say how old she is. No, they're, 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 but... You have 30-year-olds playing teenagers in some of these. So maybe you have a, a 20-year-old playing a 40-year-old. Yeah, so, I mean, it's like she should be 40 years old, but she looks if she's At 40, least, she looks damn good. Yeah. So it's like for me, the oh, timeline doesn't right. really add up for this. That drives me nuts. And then okay. I, I'm trying to even think. You talk about this one. I talked about the first three and a lot. You, you talked about this for a while. I'll add, I'll add to what you had to say. I mean, a lot of it just doesn't make sense. It was you like, said that a yeah, times. no, it's just, um, you know, because they're talking about like this at the beginning, it's supposed to be back in 73, and then we're back in 2013 or whatever. Well, and well it's that's like, how the movie was made. So and I'm it's like, okay, you know, basically the town did a posse and killed the Sawyer family. The same too. But yet they don't look like they've aged 40 years. No. Because, I mean, some of these guys, when the stuff went down, probably should have been in their 30s, so they should be in their 70s. Meanwhile, they look like they're about 50. If that. Yeah, I, I don't like it. It just makes no. Uh, sense. It just made it. No, it makes zero sense. I mean, Characters they do. Are annoying they too. do go back to the name Sawyer, and I was well, so Drayton Sawyer as Hedgestone. 
Yeah, well, but they were also saying about you Sawyer people, and all of a sudden, all the women have this necklace that looks like an S they all wear all of a sudden, and there's this whole big... I must have missed that. Extend, well, that's how she has that burn mark on her from the beginning that they oh, say is yeah. her birthmark, but what it is, it was from the fire, and it, she partially got burned from her mom's necklace oh. when her mom was holding her, trying to protect her. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I saw her. Yeah, so, I mean, it's just kind of... That face looks weird. The mask doesn't, you know, I don't know. Yeah. I don't even know who he is. Well, it's like it's some of the Bubba. stuff I was joking because um, it looked like there was a dead armadillo. And I said, oh, is that a tribute back to the third one? Well, third one and the first one. First one. one. Like, there were certain I things they, they were like trying. in the remake. I don't remember. Yeah, there were some things they were trying. It seemed like they were trying to pull from the other movies to con connect it, I guess. Yeah, nothing connects a movie like showing a dead, dead armadillo. Or armadillo or a dead yeah, armadillo. but it was just so weird because it seemed like there were there was now all these additional family members that weren't. Yeah, where the hell were they in the first? Right, where, I mean, because it was all and the baby. Where yeah, there that? was like all these female character, uh, female family members Maybe now. Down in the basement. Maybe I don't they know. Were sleeping up in one of the rooms because I mean, it was like really the only female character they acknowledged was like in the second one when they showed Grandma and Grandpa sitting up. Well, in the they showed Grandma sort of the first. That's that old. I think that's she. The Grandma is a skeleton thing on the first one. Yeah, I don't know. So I mean, that's really. It's like okay, where did all of a sudden did all these female characters come from? And it does talk about the family. Running the slaughterhouse previously. Well, yeah, that's and what happens? They, they, I used to work. I used to work there. You know, I it's like the slaughterhouse. They're, it's like they're trying to pull things from that, but it's like time what lies. What well, timeline was? It makes no sense. Nope. Because I mean, some of these people should be either dead or a lot older than what they are, and they're stupid. And then she ends up taking care of him. Like, yeah. She care, I guess she didn't care about any of the people she hung out with. Well, I, I always want to figure out in this, does she ever figure out her best friend and her boyfriend were screwing each other? And then that, um, okay, her friends were crappy because they knew that. And then Letterface was, but she, she didn't know that, then I guess she didn't care. And then Letterface killed her friends. But she's cool with Letterface killing her friends. Well, her Letterface kills her parents at the end. Well, I could. They were. But that she was, probably set them up. To do, I think them. so. She yeah. Said, hey, since I help you, can you like kill these two people for me? And they well, really even at parents. the end, whenever they're in the slaughterhouse, like when he Leatherface is almost getting pulled into that meat grinder, and she throws his chainsaw, and she goes, "Go at it, cuz." I hate that fucking part. That's just so stupid. You know, she should have said, "Don't mess with Texas." That 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 would have been just as worse too, or whenever they do that stupid shit. Yeah. That was horrible. I hate that. I hate well, it. I still kind of like how the cop kind of let things go, and he's just like, clean this shit up. And he looks past the fact that they murdered their ma the mayor. Yeah, good cop. Well, he was kind of an idiot, too. So. Well, no, because, I mean, he was kind of pissed from the beginning when they came and burnt the house and everything, and he's like, Maybe basically, the they want to they went above the law and everything with all that's that. Why the cop didn't care, so... I think that's what it was, because he cut his shot, Leatherface, and he stood there and then put holstered his gun back. Yeah, that was the end of him. She, I don't know. I yeah, I mean, like, she doesn't yeah. care that he, she killed her friends. Mm -hmm. I don't care. Or I'm sure she had her parents. Or they weren't her parents anyhow. They were foster or whatever. But. Well, they basically stole her and just yeah. never told her she was adopted until she got so this letter that care. her grandmother yeah. died and she's inheriting all this. And she's so like, she my grandparents were. At the end. Well, I think at that point she just realized she found out everything that happened and she's like, I'm a Sawyer. <laughs> And I'm going to embrace the fact Right, and she was just basically like, oh, well, I'm one of these people now, even though she hasn't known about that for however long she's been alive. Yeah, so whatever. It doesn't, none of it makes sense mm -mm. to me. It's stupid, I hate it. And then, like, that basically, I, I mean, I don't, well, they said his name's Jeb, correct? I think. Uh, Jebediah I Sawyer. He from. He's not Leatherface from the first one, that's for sure. Right, so, I mean, it's like, I don't know where, but meanwhile, it's supposed to be Leatherface from the first one. Oh, it is. Yeah, because it's from, because from the beginning, and because I mean, it's supposed to, I think, take place right after the first one. And I like the second one, so this movie just I don't like it. I don't like it. And I got nothing else to say about that. Too. Yeah, I mean, it's like everybody's in on what's going on, and they just want to. The town wants to keep the whole dirty little secret hush hush with everything. And I don't know. It's just they just want. They need. They like. They're like, okay, we need to make a three D movie. What, what can we make a 3D one? Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, you know, they, they, we, 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 no, we just did Friday the 13th. We're good. Oh, no, we'll bring back Texas Chainsaw. 
And what we won't even call, we'll call it Texas Chainsaw 3D. Yeah. We won't call it Texas Chainsaw Massacre. We'll just call it Texas Chainsaw. 3D. Yeah. And that the three that's so gimmicky. The effects are horrible. That party throws a chainsaw. I hate this 3D crap that they do. It's horrible. It's a gimmick. It's stupid. It needs to be done. It was never cool. Like, I, yeah, I don't know. It never really was cool. Maybe in the 50s when the Fort went there, but whenever we did it in the 80s, it was kind of like, well, you know, but it died out quickly. They didn't drag it out like they do mm -hmm. now. I, mean, I don't even know how much they do it now. I mean, I think. I don't like it. I don't, I mean, if people like it, cool. They don't comment only, on why you like yeah, it. Yeah, I've only seen one movie since they redid the 3D within the past 10 or so years. Yeah, maybe give me an awesome, give me a reason why that movie is awesome. Maybe I'll check my like, oh, okay, I didn't think of that. Or, oh, I didn't think of that either. So, hey, if you think it's awesome, say why. Because I, I don't, unless I miss something. But I saw this a couple of times, and every time I watch it, I don't like it. The chicks are hot, though. That's about it. So then our last one in this review, or this discussion, review is okay. um, a movie we've actually reviewed, uh, Leatherface oh, from yeah. like, yeah, we reviewed Leatherface. No, we didn't. I didn't do it. Oh, Bluto and I reviewed Leatherface um, from 2017, I think. I'm not going to look it up on my phone. Because who cares? You it guys sucks. can go watch the review. And that's, I guess, basically supposed to be a prequel to the yeah. Texas Chainsaw leave, Massacre. Leave a link in the description. And I'm sure there won't be one. I'll try to remember. <laughs> I'll bet you won't. <laughs> All right. See, he has so much faith in me. And I did put that stuff in the Friday the 13th uh, okay, one. Whatever. I believe you. But, um, yeah, so, I mean, basically, it's supposed to be a prequel to how Leatherface came about. But I and think knowing his, that, I'm like, I don't want to know Leatherface. <laughs> well, the thing is, um, his name's Jeb in that one, too, isn't it? I don't remember. I just, they call him Bubba. They, in the second, is that a face or they call him Bubba? Yeah, Bubba killed one. His name is Bubba in the second one. Let me see. I wasn't going to pull it up. <sighs> Waste some more time. Waste some more time. Fight me. Why don't you dance around while you're... 2017. Steven Dorf. Okay, well, I'll talk about him. I liked him in The Gate. Watch The Gate. That's a better movie. 1987, that horror movie. Oh, no, it's Jackson they call him. Whatever. I I'll, think. Okay, watch The Gate. That's a good movie. Mm -hmm. I think that was his first role, 1987, The Gate. That's a good movie about little creatures. Special effects in that movie are awesome. Uh, I, there was a sequel to The Gate. never saw that one. Uh, watch The Gate. If you like little monster stuff, watch Ghoulies. People don't like Ghoulies. I like, oh, sorry. I was trying to talk about something. Like no, no, I'm just saying, because, I mean, like I said, it was supposed to be a prequel where, um, basically, Leatherface was taken from his family by, like, CYS and raised in, like, foster care. And no, it, the one that. you think you who like is that. Leatherface isn't Leatherface. Bullshit. That is not, that's stupid. Because, they um, tried to pull the rug out. That's dumb. That was stupid. I was not, I'm sorry. I do not believe at all. But that pretty but, boy. Okay, Leatherface is supposed to be slow. What did they say Leatherface was in the 3D? He was slow. They called him like retarded or something. Then they say like, out of, like then they say they said this in the one we just watched. They say, and that fire, how did the retard manage to be the one to survive? Then they say something like, oh that. yeah, in the 3D one. So they, he's um... supposed to kind of be mental, and in the first one he kind of has that, and even the second one. So he's supposed to be like mentally retarded in a way and have that look or that act. Fuck you. No, that's not, I don't buy that for a minute. Yeah, this is worse than 3D, not by much, but this one here, I hate this. I hate this one a bunch. Part 4 sucks, but it's entertaining because it's stupid. 3D sucks because it makes no sense. At least you got two hot chicks in it. This is just bull. I hate it. It's stupid. Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, no, so I mean, like I said, it, some of it, like the one you think is Leatherface and then it turns out it's not, it's like Come on, you didn't even know that. You were, so you totally didn't well, know Well, no, because we were watching it, and you, you have watched it yeah, already. Yeah, I, I was, you were like, he was he, So something. he didn't say anything. Because no. um, he'll do this a lot if he watches something before me. He goes, I'm not saying anything, because I want to see your reaction. You thought it was and a kid. this kid, when he, this, the one I thought, when he got killed. He's a your fatter kid. That's yeah, and he was slow. More sense. Yeah. And I was just like, 
what? What? I was so confused. I'm like, what the hell? This what? And you're la you were sitting there laughing yeah, at me. Who said he was underfed? And yeah, because he's laughing they didn't at me. Say that. Yeah, because that was. Shit. I mean, you basically, if you were like me watching it, you assumed. Yeah, you do that. Th th that's the one that's Leatherface. That's what I hated most about it. Even if, like, it sucked anyhow, but no. They just did that to be, oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. no. I hate that. That one kid who was supposed to be him, he is he is no way like Leatherface. He's too small, skinnier. He's not like a chubbier, fatter, mildly retarded kind of person. He talks. Why does he talk? He doesn't in talk in any of the other ones, right? No, he just goes, Ooh. He makes noises. He makes noise. No, he, Leatherface never talks in the other ones. He just makes like, Ooh, 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 like in the dinner table in the first one. He's going, Ooh, yeah, shut and, up. And yeah, I just, got a bag of hounds. And it's like you just assume because they're a backwoods type family he that he talk. don't Ooh. know how He's to talk. He does not talk. Either that He's or he never developed a voice box, box or whatever. Whatever, whatever. Yeah, but but he, he's totally normal. Like a, He almost acts like some preppy, snooty, colors jock. And this almost in a way, right? He has that like, I'm smart. I know what I'm doing. Right. Boring you? No. I don't. I don't. I don't like it. It's it's the worst one out of all. It's it's worse than the other two remakes. It's the absolute worst. This one, I hated it. I hated it. It's it's I I, I hate it. That's all I can say about yeah. it. It makes no sense. It's well, like annoying. I said, it's, if you're it's interested like in a horror movie, it's almost like an adventure movie with a little bit of gore thrown in. It's almost like a Devil's Rejects because the Steven Dorf character is almost like that sheriff in that one. Devil's Rejects. Where well, he's, he's, seek, them. he's seeking vengeance because that family That's killed all, yeah, his daughter. It, it, it so reminds me of the Devil's Rejects, too. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what the hell? It's 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 stupid. I don't want to know Letterface's origin So Who the hell cares? I mean, is it that interesting? I don't think it would be that interesting, in all honesty. Like what? What would they have done back in 1973 if they had made an origin story of bottom? It yeah. So when, like and it. even when you think about this, if it was the prequel to those, this would have been. It was supposed to be in prequel the prequel to that happen. They even 60s. showed it. I don't know, but they showed. Remember, because it went on to that or something. I think I don't, I don't remember because that was a while ago. So if I remember, I'll put a link to our re mine and Bluto's review down in the um, no, description. Won't. If not, you can look on the look and check out my our other videos on here. But I think that's it with this. I mean, I... I don't remember. All I remember is I hated it. Oh, you watched it twice. I watched it well, once. I, I want to watch it again with you. Just, to, I want to check out a few things. And I think I had a couple questions. Did I end up... Things. Whenever you and I watched it, did I rent it or was it on remember, something? You, um... Because there's a couple things. Because you're like all... Up, you like all this mental health wording and big... You're all up on that, and yeah. you would know what's right and what's not. Like, okay, are they allowed to do this? Is this is what would happen? Because I want to ask you a couple of things about that stuff, the way they did stuff with how the people were in the mental hospital in the beginning. Wasn't there a nurse who was like doing something or bad? Or, I don't remember, but I was like, are they allowed to do this? Yeah, this I don't really remember happening? everything. You would know. <laughs> well, back, but back at that time, things were a lot different than, than it is now, and I don't know. even in the past, like you know, this stuff past I don't. 30, 40 years, things have changed a lot. Oh, okay. I'm Okay. With all I, that, I, uh, I, I've I done so like many. I've done so many trainings where I've learned about the history of everything with that. So, you know, guys don't want to be bored with that. So, I guess, I guess this is it because I can't think of anything. There's else no other. I mean, like I said, the more like from next generation on. I don't know a lot of them. I've seen the generation one a few times because if it's on something, if it was on Stars or Encore, I'll yeah, all the time that. when we had that, and I would watch it because I'm bored. Because just watch it and sit it. and laugh at it. But yeah. Good series. Hopefully, yeah. maybe we'll do another one. I don't know what, what, what we could do. We'll do Halloween or something. Yeah, we, there's some other series we can sit and talk about Phantasm. too. Phantasm. I've only seen the second one, so uh, I would have to watch Hellraiser. Uh, uh, Hellraiser. I think I've only seen up to the third one. We can do. We can do the the, the um, George Romero Dead Night Gone Day mm -hmm. Land of the Dead Survival Dead. The Dead Diary, Diary of the Dead. Yeah. I think I'm, I only one. know the first three really good. So maybe we'll do Land it. of the Dead. You have that. Yeah, though. but I know the first three the best. Well, Day of the Dead, I haven't seen that many times, but that's getting off track. So look for more of these to be coming Probably, maybe. with that. So Who please knows. remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you know when new content is posted to the page. Subscribers, you guys are awesome. Thank you. I appreciate all of you. My watchers, I appreciate as well. Um, 
there's something you would like Bluto and I to review movie wise, put it in the comments. If I don't have it, I'll post it to my wish list. If you can guys can help me out getting it. Um, I haven't started my movie challenge. Bluto has done with for I'm challenge. Me. Something called does it hold up? Yeah, I'm still pulling that all together, and then I got to look right. through and see what just, I have. When I'm, it yeah, up. I'm still pull. I should probably actually start watching and just yeah, let you, you know. The challenge thing too. Yeah, yeah the challenge funny. thing, which the only one he did good at that. What he did good picking those. Movies. Yeah, there's only watch. one movie as of now I can't find. Well, that's not bad. You got 14 of them to watch. Yeah, so. Um, I really got to start getting going on that, even though I think I'm going to want to gouge my eyes out by the time I'm done watching that. Um, I'm not going to mention the movie I haven't been able to find yet because I have a couple more places I'm going to look and see if I can get it. I um, guess that's about it. I'll see you guys in another one with Bluto, and Bob will be behind the scenes when we do another discussion. Bye. Bye. <laughs>